What's up my crypto legends, in today's episode I'm going to show you that if the $46,000 range doesn't hold, we're potentially going to come all the way down to $38,000. We'll be checking this out today and Ethereum, this is the best buying opportunity in my opinion, around the $1,400 range. I will show you why today and today is the last day, we've got 13 hours left for this great promotion from Pemex. You can get up to $680 using my link in the description. If you just use Femex, you can get $600 but if you use my link you can get up to $680 all the information guys is in the description we'll be checking out this chart this is the last bull cycle we had nine dips of over 20% I will show you this chart this is the Bitcoin all-time high daily closes from halving to halving and the Ethereum transactions going through the roof we'll be going through this news guys make sure to smash up the like button guys thank you very much and subscribe for coming updates and hit this bell notification and and let's go straight into the video. Hello there, Andy here, and welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census, where you subscribe for the quickest technical analysis and news on Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and the financial markets. I'm not a financial advisor, so don't buy yourself anything that I say. And if you do so, do your own research. Said this, let's go straight into the charts. Taking a look at the four hourly for the BTC US dollar pair, we can see there's a huge amount of volume here on the VPVR just above the 46 thousand dollar range and now the bitcoin price is holding nicely above this area if we fall below the forty six thousand dollar range there is no volume at all until we get to the thirty eight thousand dollar area as you can see here on the chart i'm going to show you that this candlestick over here with this huge amount of volume was when elon musk posted the bitcoin symbol on his twitter account and this means that a load of retail FOMO came in buying Bitcoin around the $32,000, $34,000 range. And this was all accumulated up to the $38,000 area, as you can see on the VPVR. This candlestick over here and this huge amount of volume was when Tesla announced that they were purchasing $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin, mostly bought at the $38,000 range up to the $46,000 area. That's why it is all accumulated to the $46,000 range. So if this breaks to the downside, I think there is going to be a huge fall all the way to the $38,000 thousand dollar area guys so if we go to the thirty thousand dollar area this is going to be from the all-time high all the way down to the thirty eight thousand dollar range a 35 percent correction which is absolutely normal in a bull market but everybody is going to freak out i also want to show you the ema ribbon here on the daily chart we are perfectly above the ribbon we just touched the third yellow ribbon here as you can see and as long as we stay above the red one which is the 55 ema we are perfectly in an uptrend as you can see here on the chart since november we are perfectly retesting the ribbon and continuing the uptrend i want to show you the last bull cycle that we did actually go below the ribbon even though we were still in the huge bull market as you can see here from early 2017 we did manage to go below the ribbon a few times as you can see one here there's another one here and also another one here and we were still continuing going to the upside so these huge dips are absolutely normal and now we perfectly above the ribbon still so we could still go below the ribbon for a couple of days or weeks and then continue the uptrend to the upside taking a look at the daily for the ethereum us dollar pair we can see that we are retesting the 1400 dollar range as heavy support it was heavy resistance as you can see from this ascending triangle and we broke out of it and now we are retesting it as support this needs to hold nicely as support we can see it is also the all-time high from the 2018 bull run so if we break this support with a huge amount of volume this is going to convert it into resistance again and if we fail on breaking it again this is going to be very bad news for the ethereum price and the ethereum community possibly going down to one thousand eight hundred dollars or who knows where we need to see more price action this area needs to hold so we can continue the bull market taking a look at the 2017 
Bitcoin bull market, we're going to see how many dips there were and how much percentage there were in this chart. This is the 2016 to 2017 bull market. We went from $1,000 all the way up to $20,000 in late 2017, making an all time high. We had nine dips in between 20 and 40%. You can see here there's one of 39% correction. There's another one of 31 here, 38, 37, 29%. And the correction that we've had in the last couple of days has not even been a 23% correction. We could easily have a 35 or up to a 40% correction. Having a 35% correction would take the Bitcoin price all the way down to the $38,000 range. And this is just buying opportunities in a bull market. We do have corrections and this is for buying guys. Let's take a look at this. In this chart, we can see the Bitcoin all time high daily closes from halving to halving from the 2012 halving till the second halving in 2016, we had 52 all time high daily closes. And from the 2016 halving till the 2020 halving, we had 74 all time high daily closes. Now from the 2020 halving till now, we've had 27 all time high daily closes. So I do believe from this halving till the 2024 halving, there is going to be more than 27 all time high daily closes. As you can see, there was much more in the last halving. So we can expect at least 20 or 40 all time high daily closes till the 2024 halving. Checking out some news today. ETH transaction fees are currently extremely high and ERC20 $45 and Uniswap $138 per transaction. Ethereum loses more than 10% in 24 hours and transaction fees are rising rapidly. Although the second most popular cryptocurrency has managed to achieve the long dream $2,000, it is now facing a slight correction and in addition to the loss of value, this was also reflected in the fees. As you can see from the statistics from Etherscan, at the time of writing, the average price for an ERC20 transaction is $45, but at the high priority is $60. Here you can see an ERC20 transfer, at the low is $42, at the high is $60. A Uniswap token transfer, at the low $129 and up to $184. However, for DEX users, decentralized exchanges on the most popular Uniswap platform, it's several times higher when you pay an average of $138 and up to $184 at the highest priority. Those traders who are moving their ETH in these times thus face a really unpleasant in situation when they are forced to calculate and think about the priority and how much they are willing to pay only for the transaction itself. Ethereum 2.0 needs to come out very, very soon. We need a scaling solution for these transaction fees. Guys, this is going to be it for today's episode. Make sure to check out the Bitcoin Center's website. We've got great tutorials and reviews on how to buy, how to store, how to trade Bitcoin. We've got price predictions. We've got news and latest technical analysis. So I'll be leaving a link in the description so you can check it out. And if you haven't seen the best tutorial of the Jujex Leverage Trading Platform, I'll be leaving a video popping up on your screen. A massive thank you for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.